<laughs> Hello everyone. Have a look at this. I've just come outside to clean up. And there's eggs everywhere. Alright, I'm gonna clean up and then we can have a closer look. You guys know what's frustrating? I have three pairs who laid eggs last night, but nothing from these guys. I'm starting to think if they don't lay in the next couple of days, I might just separate them, wait until the new loft's set up, and see if they'll breed in the loft instead of in the box like this. But as I was saying, one of the pairs who laid last night were these guys. They're currently raising their little recessive red baby. And it looks like the young one's inheriting his foster father's aggression. I don't think I'll let these guys raise this round of eggs though. It's getting a bit late in the season. I'm not really ready for any more babies out of these guys this year. And at the same time, these guys have laid as well. Again, it is getting a bit late in the season, so I don't think I'll let them raise these eggs. But let's have a look at their little baby. I'm pretty happy with the colour of these recessive red babies. They're not perfectly coloured, but I have seen some a lot worse than these guys. It will be interesting to see though how they turn out when they have their first molt. I'm expecting them to get a little bit of this white like their father, but we will have to wait to see what happens. I won't actually have them then, they're going to another fly to race, but I'm sure he'll send through some photos and keep us updated. And the third pair to lay yesterday were these guys. And I'm actually thinking I might let these ones raise these eggs. And I'll show you why. Let's have a look at the baby. Calm down. If you look at this guy, you can see that he's a blue bar. Which means that his father obviously carries the bar pattern gene as well as a dark checker. If you guys did watch my How to Breed Barless video, you know that I was hoping to get a dark checker out of this pair. But considering we got a bar, I might let them raise one more round of eggs just so that we can hopefully get a dark checker baby who does carry the barless gene, because that will be really useful in our breeding project. Calm down, that's alright. And then of course there's these guys, and they haven't laid yet. I'm actually a bit surprised that the other birds laid so early. But their little babies are over here, sitting quietly in the nest. And now that they're a few days older, we have a better idea of the colour. Of course we have our young little stipper over there. But the hen, I thought she might have been a spread, but you can tell right now that she's not. I'm not sure if it's showing up on the camera, but she is a checker. And I'm pretty sure it's a blue checker, I don't think she's a brown. I might wait a few more days before I say that definitively, but I'm pretty sure she's a blue checker. And she's going to have a lot of white on her look. You can see the white on her head starting to come through a bit more. The white on the flights and on the back. This girl's going to have a lot of white on her. And both of these young birds will be racing next year, so it'll be interesting to see how they turn out. I'll be sure to keep you guys updated. Down here, the waiting game continues. Only another couple of days and then we'll have some little babies here too. And as you guys surely know, I am really looking forward to seeing these ones. Anyway guys, that's today's video. Hope you've enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.